And if I told you once, I ain't gonna tell you twice. Salute all my real ones. You serious? I don't know if y'all can hear that. I promise I'm gonna edit it out. Yeah, look, bro, we got taking the emergency exit from a wind turbine. Just something you could put that on the list of things that I or any version of I will never do. Before we get into the video, like button, subscribe button, notification bell, press those, let's go. I got an email from an energy company that said, hi Tom, we own a wind turbine. Do you wanna go up to the top of it? And of course I said yes, but then I asked, could I leave by the emergency exit? And for some reason, they said yes. This is a 50 meter EWT turbine, which is capable of producing 500 kilowatts of energy. In blade repair, we have to repair turbines all over Europe. So every day you need to climb a turbine. You shut it off at the bottom, you climb up, you pin the turbine, pin the blade that you're gonna work on. You then attach the top, abseil out, and you do your repairs on the blades that you need repairing. Anyone climbing or descending this ladder has to be attached to a fall arrest system. It's a clever bit of technology. If you move it at a normal speed, it'll move along with you. But if you fall, it'll notice and it'll catch you. Fast enough to be safe, not so fast that it's as brutal as hitting the ground would be. On the ladder that we climb up on the inside, there is a fixed steel cable. And on this, you attach a slider, which is a metal device. And you open up a gate inside. This is where the cable runs. And the gate then closes onto the cable shut the hatch, screw it together, and this attaches to your sternum. So as you're climbing up, this will follow you up the cable, and then if you fell, it would lock into position. It'll break, that's your braking system. You've always connected by two points. Personally, I believe it's a safer job than anything else you can do because of all the backups we use. For instance, it's much more dangerous to climb a ladder six foot off the ground than it is. I can tell you a safer job, working in a bubble wrap factory. To work 50 meters up in the air when you've got all your attachment points in my opinion. <laughs> if you're climbing this turbine, you need a fail safe, which is one of the reasons there's an emergency exit at the top. Right, here we go. The emergency senders come in different guises, but the one that's up the top there, we only train with it once every two years because it's always the worst case scenario if you have to get that out. It's an inertia device. If you just clip it to yourself, you'll lower down to the ground under its own steam and you can break, but generally you'll just hit the ground at a safe speed. You don't train with it very often because in real world you should never have to use it because you've got lots of other things to fail first before you even have to think about using that. There's instructions written on it as well on how to use it. Oh, so step to the left. Six step round here, yeah. Yep. To access a turbine, you need to do something called your GWOs, which is Global Wind Organization. And you can't access the turbine and use any of the equipment inside without the training. And that teaches the working at height and how to use one of those devices to get casualties down. And then to do what we do, which is abseiling on the blade, Blades, you then do something called a IRAT qualification, which is rope access basically. And so it's a quite a lengthy process before you're even out there. There is actually an emergency exit sign up here. I love that. <laughs> this is a direct drive turbine, meaning that there's no gearing in it. It's all just magnets up in the donut you can see right at the top. So this is the center of the turbine. That there is well, the hull and the rotor. It's a giant electromagnet. Yes. There are very few worst case scenarios where the turbine's gonna be fine, but the ladder down isn't. Now, if any of those happen, then yeah, the team here are all thoroughly trained for it. They'll all be able to get down on the emergency descender. But that's not why it's here. The most likely reason for that to be used is for one person. Someone who's twisted their ankle or passed out or for whatever reason, can't get down the ladder on their own. Would they mind saying emergency services won't climb the turbine? Yes, that's, that's my understanding. It would be specific to the injury. If he couldn't move the casualty, then they would have to figure a way of doing it. You'd have to be something serious. A heart attack, you can always get someone down. But someone had a broken neck. Yeah, it'll be a different scenario. Oh, look at that view! <laughs> so we do medicals to get onto the turbines and we have to maintain those medicals bi-yearly. And that proves your fitness to climb the turbines and the medicals are quite in depth. So you, you knew you were ill, you would be fairly irresponsible to go and climb a turbine. So put yep. your feet on here. That's okay to step on? Yeah, promise you. If you sit back, keep your legs straight, okay. lean backwards. Keep going, keep going. Don't hold on. <laughs> don't, hold, don't hold on. Oh. That's it, yeah? Oh, okay, that's the nerve wracking bit. That's it, keep going. Yep. You are right, two, I I've got two wires on me. I've got two wires on me. That's it, I've keep got going. two wires and on me. And now walk, but don't bend your legs. That's it, keep okay. going. Okay. Keep going. 
There okay, you go. I got two wires on me. And you can slowly bend your leads a little bit if you want to, if it makes I've you feel more comfortable. I've got two wires. That's it. That's fine. Okay. Happy? Happy. See you in a little while. Okay. <laughs> One thing I should mention in voiceover, because I forgot to say it while convincing my brain to switch from trusting my legs to trusting the ropes, there is a way to get someone onto the descender if they're out cold or they can't walk. It's just that I could walk, so I did a standard abseil down the first part. And that's it. I'm descending. <laughs> Rigging this up required a lot of skill and training from the folks up there. But to descend, you don't even need to be conscious, and that's by design. All I need to do now is sit and wait until I safely reach the ground. <laughs> when you actually work on a turbine, the view out the top is always amazing. So when you have a look around, you do remember that, oh, it's a pretty cool job, actually. Well, I can assume that he made it out alive because he po uploaded the video, but uh, nah, my G. I'd rather go bungee jumping over water, skydiving, eh, I'm cool, I'm cool, I'm cool. Not something I wanna do. No, 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 no. <laughs> Thank you very much to all. But yeah, man, that's the video. Let me know what y'all think. Would y'all fuck basically bungee jump or, or, or rappel down a wind turbine? My name is Rain. Catch you on the flip side. RC Pace. Loats. Dab on them.